Hi guys, how are you doing? Mate, I know a lazy day has passed for me and all I did today was eat, sleep and repeat. My parents think I'm lazy, but I don't think like that at all. <gasps> yes, it's starting to rain. It means that I will not have to go to school. If it rains, I will not have to go to school. Yes. Hey. <gasps> what is this? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. You're such a lazy, sleepy, noisy, naughty, and silly girl. Oh my god. And if I were you, I would study harder. Yes, I know. So go and study or you will die with me. Oh lord. How is not a good student at all? If she were a good student, her father wouldn't be that mad. Do you notice what I just used there? Did her and her father just use that too? Hang on, because we're learning a new structure, the conditional sentence. What is conditional sentence? A conditional sentence expresses a situation. It may be real, it may be not, and also its result. And the result is conditional to this situation that has been mentioned. So one conditional sentence consists of two clauses. The if clause is the situation itself, and the main clause is the result of that situation. How the first type of conditional sentence work by playing back what I just said earlier. If it rains, I won't have to go to school. If clause is in present tense, and the main clause is in future. The sentences describe a predictive or possible consequence. The consequence may happen or may not happen in future. In near future, I may not go to school because of the rain. That may happen. Also, you can switch the places of the two clauses. You will be late if you don't hurry up. And also some model verbs like could, must, may, might could also be used in conditional sense. If you don't study harder, you might fail the test. But that's not all. We also have the second type of conditional sentence. Um, let's play back what has father just said earlier. If I were you, I would study harder. The if clause uses past tense. And the main clause, it could be would, could, plus a bare infinitive. So the sentence describes a hypothetical situation. It's not happening in the present, or it didn't happen in the past, but you pretended that it happened. Right now, Ha is a lazy student, and she doesn't study that hard. That is why Ha's father just said, if I were you, I would study harder. The if clause is an unreal situation. And the main clause describes what his father would do if he were ha, which is obviously not true. Notice that instead of using was, we use were for all pronouns, no matter is that I, you, he, or she. And that's for today. Now before we run away, we're going to wrap up by coming to a mini game show. And I promise that is exciting. I'm Lala. I'm Mew Mew. Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. Welcome to our mini game show today. What's, What's next? next? The today gift for the winner is a new brand pair of socks for Christmas. Hand it up on your best and wait for the Christmas from Mr. Santa. So Lala, what have we learned today? It's word conditional sentence one and two. Awesome! Can you help me to riff on the key points for all of us? Sure, let's take a look on the firm once more. So, look at the string. You can see the conditional sentence C1. It may describe a situation, may or may not happen in the future. 
And here's the structure. And we continue <coughs> with the conditional sentence type 2. It's describe an unreal situation. The condition is always right, but at, the, at present or in the future, the consequence may not take place. And here is the structure for it. I think we all understand it a bit better now. But just to make sure, let's put what have we learned into practice. And guys, now we will move to the most exciting part of our mini game show today. And we can have a mini game show to put you. Okay, we will watch a situation where people are talking. And of course, the conditional sentence will take place somewhere. It's just tough to find a suitable response for each character in the power section. Show us how creative you can be. Good luck. And now, what's, what's next? next? I have a dream to meet my prince, to have a leg next time we meet. <laughs> Merry Christmas, my dear Ariel. Merry Christmas. You are a good mermaid this year, so I will give you a present. A present? Yes. What present? What do you want? I want to have a pair of legs like everybody else. A pair of legs? Yes, a pair of legs. Are you sure? I am sure. Okay. I have an idea. So... I'm going to do a surgery. <gasps> To what are give you, you doing? New legs. That's not what I meant. I don't want it to be cut off. Why? You want new legs? Not like that. Okay. I have another idea. Here we have a magical curtain. Now I will give you new legs. Almost done. Almost Three, done. two, one. Oh my God! I have left them. To be a girl, never love someone. <laughs> Merry Christmas, my dear Tam. Why are you crying? You see, there are too much black sesame with <coughs> white sesame. My mother asked me to separate them. If I cannot finish in time, I will never miss the handsome prince again. <laughs> Wow, this is so hard. Okay, I have an idea. If you want to do this faster, I will give you a pair of glasses. Oh, wow. We hope that you can enjoy our challenge. For more practice, please download the document in the link below. The first to submit your work with own correct answer will give a special gift for this lesson.